Good day guys, if you're a developer, chances are you've used either GitHub or GitLab, or maybe both, but which platform is actually better for your workflow? In this video we're putting GitHub and GitLab uh, head to head. We'll break down the features, UI, uh, CI slash CD, capabilities, community and pricing to help you decide which one is the right for you. So at their core, GitHub and GitLab are both web-based Git repositories that let you host, review and manage your code with version control, but they differ quite a bit in approach. So GitHub is the more popular of the two with a massive open source community. It's known for a sleek, fast UI and being the go-to platform for collaboration on open source projects. The GitLab, on the other hand, takes a more all-in-one approach. While its interface isn't quite as refined as GitHub's, uh, it comes packed with built-in DevOps tools and more native integrations out of the box. Right now, features. So this is where GitLab starts to shine. GitLab uh, CI slash CD is built in and powerful right from the start. You can automate testing, builds and deployment with no external tools required. The pipelines are customizable and it supports multi-stage workflows natively. GitHub also offers this feature through GitHub Actions while it's relatively newer, it has quickly become powerful and flexible. It integrates deeply with GitHub ecosystem and has a growing library of pre-built actions from the community. Still, for companies running complex uh, dev op pipelines, uh, GitLab offers more control and flexibility out of the box. Now let's discuss issue tracking and project management. Both platforms let you manage issues, create Kanban-style boards and track milestones. GitHub recently improved projects management with GitHub Projects, which includes custom fields and views. But GitHub, uh, GitLab sorry, has always had a stronger suite of uh, project management features, such as Hapix, burn down charts, and detailed roadmaps. It's more suitable for agile development out of the box without relying on third party tools. Right guys, when it comes to open source, GitHub dominates. It's where most major open source projects live, and it's the place where developers contribute, discover new projects, and collaborate at scale. GitLab has a smaller community in comparison, and while it does support public repositories and contributions, it's more popular in enterprise and private team settings than in the open source space. So if you're looking to get involved in open source or showcase your portfolio, GitHub has the upper hand. Now let's discuss the pricing. So both platforms offer free tiers, but there's a key difference. GitHub is cloud only unless you're on GitHub Enterprise Server. GitLab, however, can be self-hosted for free with full control over your infrastructure. This makes GitLab a favorite for companies needing private service or strict compliance requirements. Uh, meanwhile, GitHub's pricing for teams and enterprises tends to scale based on seats and features. So which one should you choose? Pick GitHub if you value community, clean UI, and seamless collaboration on open source. And GitLab, GitLab if you need a all-in-one DevOps tool, advanced CI CD, and the flexibility to self-host. Ultimately, both are excellent tools. It just depends on your project needs. And guys, thank you for watching. Let us know in the comments which platform you prefer and why. Don't forget to like the video and of course subscribe and also hit the button uh, to not miss the new fresh uploads. We upload daily and of course a weekly we upload these uh, versus comparisons. And thanks for watching guys. See you next time.